Hey guys and welcome back to Pokemon Origins. Today we're going to be looking at the Kami trio from the Unova region, Tornadus, Thunderous and Landorus. So let's get going. So first up we have Tornadus, or for those in Japanese, Tornelos. It is a Cyclone Pokemon and is number 641 in the National decks. In its incarnate form it stands at 1.5 meters or 4 foot 11 inches and in its Farian form it is 1.4 meters or 4 foot 7 inches tall. In both its forms, it weighs 63 kilograms or 138.9 pounds. Tornadus is a pure flying type and the only one of its kind has a generation 5, excluding Pokemon with abilities or moves to allow it to switch types, for example Arceus and also Kecleon. Now, Tornadus can switch between its incarnate forms and its Therion forms by using the Reveal Glass. In the incarnate form, Tornadus is a green, muscular, humanoid Pokemon, which resembles a genie. On its forehead are two purple long and sharp horns. It has white, wavy and billowy styled hair, a spiky white moustache and two pointed green ears on either side of its head. His eyes are yellow with beady white irises and no visible pupils. The front of Tornadus' body is covered in various irregularly shaped purple spots. His broad purple chest consists of two jointly partially diamond shaped pecs and his shoulders, elbows and navel are adorned with raindrop like designs. He has two spotted muscular arms, with five fingers on each hand. His lower body consists of a trailing cloud with a purple long curling tail, tipped with a whirl. Spanning the length of his tail, Tornadus has several walled structures. They are a light khaki colour and follow the same direction as the tip of his tail. In Therium form, Tornadus is a large, green, bipedal, long-necked, bird-like Pokemon. He now lacks any visible ears and the horns on his forehead have become thinner and crest-like. Tornadus' hair is also now crest-like, and the direction of his hair whirl is reversed. The style of his hair is now more relaxed as well, proudly flowing down his long neck. Tornadus' moustache now takes on a more beak-like appearance, puffing out on the edges like coarse plumage against his cheeks. His eyes remain yellow, but with larger irises, which still lack visible pupils. His chest is now fuller, but remains largely unchanged, while his navel is now bejeweled with a red gem. Tornadus' arms have now become large spanning feathered wings, each possessing thumbs and five large, purple-tipped primary feathers. He has two strong legs and sharp talons, each with three sharp purple claws and one dew claw. Tornadus' tail remains largely unchanged, although it appears slightly longer and less curved than before. On his lower back, he has a large trailing cloud-like puff. In incarnate form, Tornadus is based on Fujin, the Kami of Wind. It may have also drawn inspiration from genies. In Therium form, Tornadus seems based on a bird of prey, most likely an eagle, vulture, or other large avian species. It may also draw inspiration from the vermilion bird of the Chinese Four Symbols constellation, or from Huizilopochil, a god from the Aztec mythology that resembles a hummingbird. In an interview with Nintendo Dream, Ken Sugimori revealed that Tornadus was originally intended to be red. Tornadus, as with the rest of its trio, is a male-only Pokemon, therefore gender differences are irrelevant. Tornadus' shiny version, however, in both incarnate and Therium forms, is a lighter pale green, with darker purple and brighter gold highlights. Pokedex entries tell us that it zooms through the sky at 200 miles per hour, or 300 kilometers per hour, and that expel it expels massive energy from its tail, causing severe storms. Both Tornelos and Tornadus are derived from Tornado, referencing its species name and associations with the wind. And then looking at its size, we can see that in both of its forms it is fairly large, yet not quite as tall as myself. Next up we have Thunderous, or Voltolos. It is the Bolt Strike Pokemon and number 642 in the National Dex. Like Tornadus, it has two different heights, one for each form. In its incarnate form, it is 1.5 meters or 4 foot 11 tall, but in Therium form, it is 3 meters or 9 foot 10 inches tall. However, this refers to length, not height, as we will look at later on. And in both forms, it weighs 65 kilograms or 143.3 pounds. Dissimilarly from other trios, the Kami trio does not follow a similar typing pattern, as Thunderous is the electric flying type, in contrast to Toynus's single flying type. Also, in Therium form, Thunderous has the highest special attack of all electric type Pokemon. 
like Tornadus, by using the Reveal Glass, you can switch Thunderous between its Incarnate and Therion forms. In its Incarnate form, Thunderous is a blue, muscular humanoid Pokemon, which resembles a genie. On his head is a single, large, sharp purple horn. Thunderous has white, zigzagging and jutting style hair, a spiky white moustache, and two pointed blue ears on either side of his head. His eyes are yellow with beady white irises and no visible pupils. The front of Thunderous' body is covered in various irregularly shaped purple spots, with his broad chest consisting of two joined purple, rounded diamond shaped pecs, and his shoulders, elbows and navel adorned with red raindrop like designs. He has two spotted muscular arms with five fingers on each hand. His lower body consists of a trailing cloud with a thick, long, curling, purple, cable-like tail. Spanning the length of his tail, Thunderous has several ball-like structures. They are a dark grey colour, and each one has a long, sharp spike on one side. In Therian form, Thunderous is a large, blue, sleek, bipedal snake or dragon-like Pokemon. The horn on his head is now thicker and extends out more, while his ears become more pointy and pinned back. Thunderous' hair remains the same. The moustache now takes on a more raised snout and fanged, more like appearance, with two curving wrists flowing back and past his ears. His eyes remain yellow, but with larger irises which still lack visible pupils. His chest remains broad and unchanged, while his navel is bejeweled with a blue gem. Thunderous' arms have lost much of their muscular bulk and are now slimmer. He has two paw like hands, each covered in a trailing cloud like fluff, and with three claw tipped fingers. Thunderous' purple lower half is much smaller than his upper body, and consists of two hind legs and his tail. His feet are elongated, with three downward curving toes and claws. Thunderous' tail also remains largely unchanged, although it is thicker at the base and tapers off and becomes thinner towards the tip. In incarnate form, Thunderous is based on the Raijin, the Kami of Thunder and Lightning. It may also have drawn inspiration from genies. In Darien form, Thunderous seems to be based on a reptile, most likely a snake or a dragon. It may also draw inspiration from the Azure Dragon and or the Black Tortoise of the Chinese Four Symbols constellation, or from Quetzalcoatl, a god from the Aztec mythology that resembles a feathered serpent. Like Tornadus, Thunderous is a male-only Pokemon, so gender differences are redundant, whereas Thunderous' shiny version is a darker blue and purple body, with a slightly duller cloud and hair. Pokedex entries tell us that the spikes on its tail discharge lightning, and that it does this all the time when it's flying around, often causing forest fires. Voltolos is derived from Volt, and Thunderous is a corruption of Thunderous, and similarly derived from Thunder. Now on to Thunderous' size. We can see in Incarnate form that it is the same size as Incarnate Tornadus, but in Therian form, being a serpent-like Pokemon, its height actually refers to its length, and as such is still around the same size as its other form and Tornadus's. Finally we'll take a look at Landorus, or Landloss. It is the Abundance Pokemon and is number 645 in the decks. In its incarnate form, it is 1.5 meters or 4 foot 11 tall, the same as the rest of its trio, but in Therian form it is shorter at 1.3 meters or 4 foot 3 inches due to its quadruped stance. In both forms, it weighs 68 kilograms or 149.9 pounds. It is a ground flying type and the master of the Kami Trail, also having the highest special attack of all ground type Pokemon, whilst in Therian form. And very much like its counterpart, you can switch Landorus between its Therium and Incarnate forms by using the Reveal Glass. In Incarnate form, Landorus is an orange, muscular humanoid Pokemon which resembles a genie. On his forehead are three sharp pink horns arranged in a slight upwards arch. Landorus has a white protrusion shaped like a short log on the top of his head, a jagged white moustache and two pointed orange ears on either side of his head. His eyes are yellow with beady white irises and no visible pupils. The front of Landorus' body is covered in dark pink spots, most of them shaped like diamonds, pebbles and raindrops. His broad chest consists of two joined dark pink diamond shaped pecs and his shoulders, elbows, and navel are adorned with raindrop-like designs. He has two spotted muscular arms with five fingers on each hand. His lower body consists of a trailing cloud with a long, curling, brown, branch or root-like tail. Landorus' tail has various flat protrusions running along its span, each spotted in dark pink on the edge of their surface. In Therian form, 
Landorus is an orange, lean, feline-like quadruped Pokemon. The horns on his head are now thinner and arranged closer together in a downwards arch. While his hair remains the same, his moustache has now taken on a more fang-like more appearance, curving around his head to behind his ears, which have now become smaller and rounder. His eyes remain yellow, but with larger irises which still lack visible pupils. His chest remains broad and unchanged, while his navel is bedewed with a beige gem. Landorus's back and lower legs are striped with dark pink, and his biceps and triceps adorn with dark pink upside down raindrop like designs. He has four trailing cloud covered paws, each with three sharp dark pink claws. His tail remains largely unchanged, although it may be slightly smaller and shorter than before. In incarnate form, Landorus is based on the Inari, the Kami of Fertility. It may have also drawn inspiration, like its uh, counterparts, from genies. In Therian form, Landorus seems based on a predatory man mammal, most likely a tiger or other large feline. It may also draw inspiration from the white tiger of the Chinese Four Symbols constellation, or from Teslak Kapoka, or Tepeyotl, the gods from the Aztec mythology that resemble a jaguar. Like the ones before it, Landorus is a male-only Pokemon, and his shiny form is slightly lighter orange in colour, both for his main body and markings, and his tail seems to be a lighter brown. And then from the Pokedex we can learn that he has been hailed as the Guardian of the Fields, as he creates energy to give nutrients to soil and make the land abundant. Both Landorus and Landloss are derived from land. And finally if we look at Landorus' size, we can see that in our incarnate form it is the same size as its trio members, and in Therian form it is the same size as before, but simply in a quadruped stance. So guys, that's it for this episode of Pokemon Origins, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and a comment down below, I'll be seeing you guys next time, goodbye.